My name is Brendan Smith, I am the Brewing Sailor, and this is another Hangover Free Review. Let's get into it. Hey everybody, welcome back to Hangover Free Reviews. I'm your host, the Brewing Sailor, Brendan Smith. And whether you're living a sober lifestyle or just looking to cut back on your drinking a little bit, you've come to the right place because this is the show that helps you moderate your booze, not your brews. Just how do we do that? Well, each week we look at a couple of NA beers and we score them against the style guidelines appropriate to that beer as prescribed by the Beer Judge Certification Program. If you're interested in learning more about that program and the style guidelines, the link to the guideline we use will be in the description of the video today. Speaking of which, we are going to be reviewing the Best Day Kolsch. And once we get through the Beer Judge Certification Program review of that, and we scored according to the five weighted styles or the five weighted uh, categories of aroma, appearance, flavor, mouthfeel, and finally overall impression, I will take off my judge's hat and tell you how I feel about the beer whether or not I would pay for this money, how often I would pay for it, and you know, if at all. So let's dive into that. First, helps to have a glass and our beer. Like I said, we're doing the best day cool. So it's very hard to see that with the reflective lights. So I'm sure my wife will do amazing things with Photoshop and all that fun stuff and put in the picture so you can see what it actually looks like. But here we go. Let's pour this puppy up. So when it comes to the appearance of the beer, uh, we're looking for three things on a Kolsch. We're looking for light yellow to light golden color. And, and we do have that here. We're looking for a lacy white head that dissipates quickly, which we also have here. And then the also thing we're looking for is brilliant clarity. And, and while this is clear, uh, there's just a little haze through the middle here. Um, and I know it does look clear to you. You can see it. I don't, I don't think I can really show it here. There's just a little clear. It's not as brilliantly clear as I'd like to see it. And, you know, I, I have brewed a lot of Kolsch in my day. I worked for a German brewer for two years, and Kolsch was one of our main styles. I've brewed a lot of Kolsch in my day, and I just like to see it a little clearer than this. I'm not going to be too harsh on it, but I am going to take half a point for it. So you have two and a half out of three on the appearance. So, how about the aroma? Um, there's a grainy sweetness to it, but a mild one. There is some fruitiness there too, which you'd expect on a, on a, on a Kolsch from the yeast. There's even almost, almost a little bubblegum character to it, which I'm not used to on a Kolsch. But overall, it's a very pleasant aroma. Um, I don't think it's a hundred percent to style, but it's pretty close. So we're going to give it a good but not great score on the aroma. We're going to give it a 7 out of 12. Let's jump in for flavor here. And for flavor here, we're looking for mild sweet sweetness, a little fruitiness, maybe some spicy herbal notes from, from German hops. Uh, it's not necessarily, it doesn't want to be overbearing and it can be overshadowed by the grain and the yeast esters. We really want a, a nice, crisp, clean finish. It should be well attenuated. It shouldn't be overly sweet. So we say well attenuated. It means that the yeast has done a good job of converting all of those sugars to alcohol. And of course, the alcohol being removed here with non-alcoholic beer. But So I'm definitely getting the mild sweetness. It is well attenuated as it should be getting 
touch of the fruit flavors, very delicate, very subtle. There is just a little, I don't really know how to describe it, just a little bite at the back of the tongue, a little twang. Yeah, there's something that kind of lingers on the back of the tongue. And I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, I think overall, it, the flavor's pretty good, but this beer by style should finish pretty crisp and pretty clean. So that really does take a little bit away from an otherwise pleasurable experience drinking the beer. For a score on that, we're going to go 14 out of 20. As far as the mouthfeel is concerned, they've pretty much hit this dead on. It's uh, medium bodied, medium light, uh, medium carbonation. The carbonation is not overly soft. There's not a huge carbonic bite to it. So it's not overly, I should say it's not overly harsh. It is fairly soft. Um, and it is medium carbonated. It's not super carbonated. It's not flat. It's right where it needs to be for a coal style ale, which by the way, um, Interesting side note about the Coles before I get to my overall and then total score. Um, for the mouthfeel, we are going to give it a five out of five. Kolsch, you'll notice when you when you get a Kolsch that's not from Cologne, Germany, where the Kolsch uh, originated, it's going to say Kolsch style ale. And a lot of people think Kolsch's are lagers. They're actually not. They, they are indeed ales. They just drink somewhat like a lager. They're, they're crisp. They're clean. They're usually lighter in color. So a lot of people associate them with lagers, but they are not. They are, in fact, ales. But if it's not from Cologne, it's not really a Kolsch. They're very much like Champagne with the Champagne region of France. They're very protective of it. Uh, if it's not from Champagne, it's just sparkling white wine. And if it's not from Cologne, it's just a Kolsch-style ale. It's not a true Kolsch. So we're dealing with a Kolsch-style ale here. Just a little... A little trivia for those who didn't know. I'm sure there's plenty of my uh, viewers that do know. You guys are pretty educated. But for those who don't or maybe watching me for the first time, just a little tidbit for you. Uh, overall, it is a decent Kolsch. Um, it's, it's a Kolsch whose total experience is better than the sum of its parts. I'll give it that. Uh, and it is good. It's just not very good. And a few minor things are really kind of holding it back from being either very good or great. It just just missed that very good category for me. So it gets a 6 out of 10 on overall impression, a total score of 34.5 out of 50. Now, for those who haven't watched before, or just a refresher for those who have, a score of 25 to 30 is average, 30 to 35 is good, 35 to uh, 40 is very good. 40 to 45 is excellent. And 45, we call a world-class representation of the style, of which I've only given out two. So this is a good beer. It's bordering on very good. And it, with a couple of minor tweaks, or even it, it may be just be that I bought this at Total Wine. So it's been sitting warm on a shelf. And I don't know, I, I suppose I could look on the bottom of the can to see when it was canned or if there's a Best Buy date. But I don't know how long it has been on that shelf. So there are some things that could be throwing this off, and it might be a very different experience if I were to pull this can off the line at Best Day Brewing. But as it sits right now in my glass, it's a 34 out of 50. It's a good beer. It's not a very good beer. It's not a great beer, but it is a good beer. As far as my overall impressions, like I said, I've brewed a lot of Kolsch myself. Um, I would like to see, a, you know, a, a coal straight off the line from Best Day, or if I could get something mailed to me from Best Day um, in comparison to what I'm getting from Total Wine, because I think I'm, I'm missing something. I'm almost positive I am. But it's good. It's Like I said, like I said in my review, it's good. It's just not great. Um, as far as would I buy it again, you know, on my scale of regular rotation beer, would buy again, would drink it again. I'm okay never having it again or drain pour. This is definitely going to fall in the middle. It's it's one that I would drink again given limited options. You know, if I go to a ballpark and it's this and Bud Zero, I'm going to get this. You know, if it's this and Heineken Zero at a restaurant, I'm going to get this. 
Um, but it's not something I'm going to seek out at Total Wine and get again. So take that for what you will. Uh, if you like the Cole style and it's available, uh, it's not going to disappoint you in any way. So if you're a Kolsch fan and you're just, you need to scratch that Kolsch, it, Kolsch itch, that's kind of hard to say, Kolsch itch. Anyway, um, go ahead and grab it. Uh, you're not going to be sad you spent your you know, 10, 11 bucks on this six pack. So I can definitely recommend it. If you're a Kolsch fan and, and this is the Kolsch that's available for you, don't be afraid to get it. It's I'm being overly critical on my critical reviews because that's how I like to judge. But it's not a bad beer by any means. You, you will not be disappointed if you spend money on it. So that's about all I have from my review. Before you go, I do want to invite you to smash that like button for me. And if you do like the video and you haven't subbed yet, why not? Do me a favor, hit that red subscription button, turn it gray. While you're at it, ring the notification bell as well. Let the YouTube algorithm know that you want to see my videos as soon as we upload them. And do leave a comment before you go. I love to read your comments. I love to hear if I'm doing a good job or a bad job. Your thoughts on this beer if you've had it. If you have any questions for me or beer suggestions that you want to see me review. Is there a beer you really like or a beer you really hate and you want me to see it tear it apart? Or do you just want to see me review another sour so you can see my stupid sour face again? I know my passion fruit pucker was a very popular video just because I look like an idiot when I drink sours. Just let's be honest. I look like an absolute goofball. Whatever it is, let me know. I look forward to hearing from you. Make sure to come back Friday. Friday, we're going to be sticking with Best Day Brewing. We're going to review their West Coast IPA, which, you know, I'm a sucker for a good West Coast anyway, so you know I'm going to like it. But see how much I do like it compared to some of the other West Coasts that we've reviewed, like Woodland Farms, Untitled Art. Oh, I haven't reviewed Untitled Art. I really need to get on that. But Rationale. Um, couple others that we've done you know of course athletics run wild so make sure to tune in for that since we're drinking a kolsch i won't say slauncher today i'll say prost see you next time everybody thanks for watching hangover free reviews